two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I got my Wellness Wednesday friend, Dr. Derek on. How you doing, Derek? I'm doing great today. How are you doing, doing sir? Doing good. Should I tell you, call you Dr. or Derek? Whichever or Dr. Derek? Prefer. Really? I get my options open? <laughs> careful, <laughs> careful. I'm doing good, but I just got done having some issues. I thought I was having a freaking heart attack or something. Oh, no. I, I had um, a lot of pain in my armpit, my chest, but it, it wasn't the left side like a heart attack. I understand that the left side is heart attack. This is on the right hand side. And then there was a bunch of tension in the back. So I don't know what the hell that was, but I, I did have some chili that might have been bad and I've been working out. So I might have pulled a muscle and then maybe a little bit of a, you know, a virus or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can be a lot of different things. I mean, uh, one of the most common muscles that you can hurt in your shoulder one of the rotator cuff muscles is called your subscapularis we do we deal with that a lot with patients um when you know people like lift something like a suitcase or a briefcase that's really heavy with their arm or you know maybe they 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 lift to to reach at something and they kind of strain it's called the subscapularis muscle and it, it gives a lot of pain like right in the armpit because the muscle lies right on the underside of the scapula and so it kind of hurts to lift the arm or to kind of raise and, and okay. extend the back like this. Something I actually dealt with that when I was um, pitching in baseball. Um, I used to strain that after pitching, and it would hurt quite a bit to throw. And that's actually one of the things I went into a chiropractor for. And he used to do some muscle work and adjust around the scapula and around that area of the spine. But that muscle work, it, it hurts a lot, but, man, it feels a lot better afterwards. Yeah, that must have been – I think it was multiple things again, but I, I've been working out again or doing martial arts and, I, and I'd yeah. throw a right hook into the bag. That would probably jar it because my mind thinks I can still do that stuff when I'm 60. <laughs> right. And I just throw it and I probably pulled it and then I was doing some push-ups in the morning too. So it probably yeah, inflamed I, I, it. I feel that same way with basketball too. I, was, I, I went out just a few weeks ago. I went out and played basketball and, and one, I'm extremely out of shape. I tried to get up and down the court a couple times and I was already gassed. <laughs> um, but also, you know, doing the, the whole jumping thing, like afterwards that, that night, and the next day, man, man, my legs hurt a lot using some of those muscles you're not used to, to using even with working out. Totally. But it's, it's real weird how the mind body connection there is. Cause your mind says, I know how to do this cause I've done it for years. And then right. you go doing it and the body says you, you shouldn't be doing that right now. <laughs> I know it, it was kind of weird for me going through like college and, and even afterwards, you know, I've always loved playing basketball and just doing even just pickup games or rec leagues or anything like that. Now it's like, I feel like compared to when I was in high school, I'm a lot smarter basketball player, but my, my body can't do the things that it used to be able to do when I was in high school. And so my reaction times there, I know what to do, but the body just sometimes doesn't, doesn't follow suit with my brain. Yeah. It's totally the endurance for me. I'm 60 yeah. and I just ain't got the win that I had when I was 20 and 30. Yeah. That's for sure. I was actually just having that conversation with a patient earlier this morning. Um, just talking about how your, your body, how it doesn't bounce back as quick as you get older. Um, and, and one of the things, you know, I, I see a decent amount of, of younger patients in my practice. Uh, we have a, a group of patients that, you know, are, are in their 20s and early 30s, still very active and doing all this stuff. And, and I can think back to that because that wasn't that long ago for me being in my 20s. But when you're in your 20s, like you feel like your body is invincible. You know, and any injury that you have, you're going to bounce back really quick. It's going to go away and, and different things. And that's, that's one of the hard things for me to, to educate and help people understand, especially the younger generation of like, you know, when you fix this stuff and you take care of your body at 20, you don't have to have the, the degenerative issues that you get when you get older and your body's going to be able to respond quicker and you'll be able to stay active and do the activities that you love doing. Um, yeah, I went to a massage therapist and he did some work on my, my shoulder blade and stuff, pushing on some pressure points and things. Then you familiar with cupping? Yeah, yep, absolutely. Yeah, I did some of that and I guess there's a lot of dead blood back there. So it's probably been multiple years back when I thought I was invincible and I probably pulled it multiple times and clotted up a bunch of stuff. So I'm trying to get all that stuff to flow again. Right. You'd be <laughs> amazed at how many people I, you know, I do see a lot of my practices that consists of people in their, you know, 40s and 50s and 60s and 
so many of the patients that come in at that age and, and we go over stuff. And unfortunately I have to have some of those conversations of saying like, Hey, you know, this, is, this is kind of permanent. Like this is going to be there. We're not going to be able to completely fix this and, and correct this, you know, but when I have that conversation with 20 and 30 year olds, I can say like, Hey, we can absolutely correct some of these curvatures and, and stop this progression of degeneration. And so many of those older patients, they'll, they'll look at me and just say, man, I wish I started doing chiropractic care when I was in my twenties or thirties, you know, when, when they had the opportunity to actually um, fix and correct and, and really truly stabilize some of the, sure. the issues. Yeah, probably a little bit like a maybe a car. If a car is out of time and it's running all rough, that's going to start working on the bearings and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely, I so use you got to keep it running smooth. Patients, like when we talk about like disc thinning or disc degeneration, that is that is one of the examples I use. It's like when your alignment is off in your car, and you know your your kind of your wheel your steering wheel shaking, and you can kind of feel it going yeah. back and forth. Like it's one of those <laughs> things. Like oh well, I can deal with it. It's not going to be a huge issue, but. <laughs> going to start working on the you know like the bearings are going to start to wear out yep. the axle is going to start to wear out the tires wear out quicker so you have to replace your tires a lot um more regularly and, and you know that's the way the body works too like if you don't fix that misalignment or that restriction that's going on within the joint it's going to start wearing your discs away and eventually you start to have degeneration and arthritis or arthritic changes that that come into play is that what arthritis basically is is degeneration of the discs and the joints yeah, I mean, arth arthritis, when you break up the word arthro and then itis, it just means chronic inflammation within a joint. And so when, when your joint goes out of alignment or it gets restricted and it, it can't move the way that it needs to, what that does is that brings inflammation into that area. And then that inflammation, when it's there for long periods of time, it starts to break down and, and um, degenerate that joint or degenerate that disc. And so, you know, just trying to keep that inflammation out of there as much as you possibly can by, by removing those restrictions and realigning the spine, that actually helps to keep your spine motioning and moving better. So that's kind of like the um, the like bone-on-bone the -bone thing. There's supposed to be something between the different vertebrae, right? Yeah, yeah. You usually have a nice disc that's made up of nutrients and mostly water. Um, that helps to kind of a shock absorber, but it also oh, yeah. causes a, a space in between there to allow for those nerves to exit out of the um, out of the holes from the spine. And so through time, if that disc gets smaller and smaller and smaller, one, those bones start to hit on each other. Right. And the body's only defense mechanism with that is we're going to produce more bone in there to try to almost fuse this thing up because we don't want it hitting on itself. Oh. And then as that decreases that disc space, then there's less space for that nerve to exit. And all of a sudden, that's when you get nerve irritation in there. So is that kind of what causes the spine to start fusing itself? And Wow. Yeah, absolutely. I can see how that the body would do that because it doesn't want to be clashing all the time. You say, yeah. let's just hang on here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's, that's really what I, you know, like one of the big stigmas or myths with chiropractic is like once you keep going, you have to keep going. You know, and I tell each and every one of my patients, is like, you do not have to do anything. I'm not going to force you to keep coming or anything like that. But most of my patients start to realize after we explain that to them and say, your body needs regular adjustments to help it maintain its efficiency and its health within there to, to keep those joints moving because we're constantly putting stress on, on our body every single day from the way that we sit, the activities that we do, even exercise. You know, so I, I kind of relate chiropractic adjustments back to you know exercising it's like if you want to maintain good heart health and you want to you keep your muscles strong you need to move them you need to exercise and do that on a regular basis well it's the same thing with your spine you need to to move those joints every couple of weeks or so to keep that that spine as healthy as it possibly can be yeah i guess moderation is the key i know that uh when i had another i had a, I had a heart issue year uh, back in 2012, something like that, and I went to a chiropractor. And initially, we did a lot of stuff. It was almost daily. Yep. And then you kind of scale it back a little bit, and then it is just kind of tuning up once in a while. I mean, you brush your teeth every day. Why not get an adjustment? <laughs> exactly. You want to prevent cavities. And, that, and that's where my patients get to that point. Is like They don't want to, every four or five months, start to have these relapses of back pain and neck pain and or their headaches to come back. And so, you know, I, I explain to them, and they understand, like, if I just do this once or twice a month and keep this stuff from coming back, I'm going to feel a lot better. And it actually is more cost effective to do that 
then wait for it to flare up again. And then all of a sudden you have to come in for, you know, eight, nine, ten adjustments just to get that pain to go right. away. Yep. That's uh, like an anal a thing I used to tell people that I've, I got a martial arts background, but most of my colleagues, are uh, their knees are all bad and stuff. They're all broken up and, and yep. worn out. My knees are fine. And part of it, I think, is because when I go in the shower and shave in the morning, I've got a mirror inside the shower and I lower it down to about chest level. So I have to do a squat while I'm shaving. So I got fairly strong knees. So not only does that keep me strong, but it also helps so that I don't have to go to the doctor and have my knees operated on, which could take a lot of my time and a lot of my money. Yes. Preventative exactly. maintenance, they call it, right? Yep, absolutely. You got it. Well, I'm going to sign this one off, Dr. Derek. Thanks again for taking time on Wellness Wednesday. For sure. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. And probably we'll see you tomorrow at uh, Master Networks, okay? You got it, sir. Thank Thanks, you bud. very much. Peace.